Welcome back, you guys. Looks like we're going to be doing part two, of episode four. Now let's uh, let's just jump right into this shit. No talking. Let's go. <laughs> Pretty grisly scene in there. Multiple stabbings. One of the orderlies had a finger bitten off. Doctor, I swear to you, I was not involved in any of this. We're going to look into it further before I feel comfortable making a decision one way or the other. One moment. Are you him now? Yeah. The other side, the other side. Seems you have a visitor. Thank heavens you're all right. You'll see everything is in order. Signed this morning with Lieutenant Gordon of the GCPD. He is to be released into my care. I know it seems like using your power and influence is the best way to make this all go away. But it's just avoiding the problem. What happened with those men in your room? The riot with Zaz? You clearly need help, Bruce. He needs extensive evaluation, treatment. Dr. Leland, you know it isn't safe for me here. Look at what happened today. That won't be the last time. That may be true, but I would never let that hinder someone from getting the help they need. I'm afraid it's out of your hands now, Doctor. You have the paperwork. Let's go, Alfred. Outside, Bruce. I can't wait. Uh, what's that about? <laughs> well, I just can't believe that Lady Arkham was actually Vicky Vale this entire time. And all the while she was working with Cobblepot to try and bring me down. Did Lieutenant Gordon hear about this lead when he let you out? Not yet. Batman will handle this one first. Even during Batman's brief hiatus, Gotham has become that much more dangerous. And the public opinion on Bruce Wayne... Well, it certainly hasn't gotten any better. Yeah, well, that's why it's Batman's turn now. <laughs> True, I suppose public opinion doesn't affect him much. Though, if the people protesting to have you thrown back in Arkham get their way, that could put a damper on things. Hello, Harvey. You should have stayed in the asylum where I put you. What do you want, Harvey? The streets of Gotham are a dangerous place for someone like you right now. Well, you'll figure that out. Eventually. I'll be fine, Harvey. I can handle myself. I don't think you understand the danger you're in. Maybe you haven't heard, but the children of Arkham have gone underground. Obviously plotting some sort of attack, and people are scared. Panicking. I needed to show them that my resolve hasn't weakened. That Gotham is still strong. So I gave them an enemy. You and your family's filthy corruption. The last thing I need is you traipsing around Gotham. You're pathetic, Harvey. Not even mayor for a week and already the pressure's gotten to you. No, I'm just a man who's done letting assholes like you run the world and take whatever they want. Can't let you keep running around scot-free, Bruce. It's the will of the people. You can spare me your will of the people crap, Harvey. I know this is personal. You knew I was interested in Selena. What you did was a low blow, Bruce. A real man wouldn't have done that. She doesn't belong to you, Harvey. She can see whoever she wants. Do not lecture me about Selena. <sighs> Bruce? Bruce! We're done talking. What's going on here? <laughs> oh, 
Well, well, well. Bruce Wayne. You really must have done something to piss the mayor off so much, hmm? <laughs> well, maybe I'll get a bonus for this. Open the trunk. We're searching the car. If we find anything tying you to the children of Arkham, including drugs, weapons, or any other suspicious materials, you will be taken into custody. Like hell you are. The only way you're searching this car is with two broken arms afterwards. <laughs> oh, I don't think that would be a good idea. Come on, what's the damn hold up? Get back to your car! <sighs> of course. Should have known. Go back to Arkham, you damn maniac! The hell? Careful, or you'll be the next Cobblepot. Showing your face in public like this? You can still leave. And I would take advantage of that while both your kneecaps are still attached correctly. Someone else heard that, right? This psycho just threatened me! Yeah, I filmed the whole thing! They should lock you up! Oh, God, I... Alfred, I'm sorry. I don't... You'll be fine. We just need to get out of this mess. No to run, dirtbag! Next one won't be a warning shot! All right. Now, the way I see it, there are two ways we can do this, Bruce Wayne. Either I let these people at you and see how you handle mob justice, or you could make a little donation to me and my boys to help us stay well-funded, hmm? And well-armed? What do you say? They've got us blocked in. I can't back up. This is turning ugly, sir. What would you like to do? Hey, the mayor's gonna hear about this, and it ain't gonna make him happy. Hey, he's the problem, not us! Ram the barricade! This isn't the Batmobile. Just do it, Alfred! Hey! What do you mean, you're leaving? Bruce, Harvey's clearly lost it. All over the news, yelling about how you need to be brought to justice, throwing whoever he wants in jail. Not really interested in seeing what he has planned for me. I was supposed to be here laying low. Does this look like laying low to you? You don't need to worry about Harvey. I'll protect you from him. Don't write checks you can't cash. Don't you get it, Bruce? Harvey catching you in my apartment drove him completely around the bend. So you're saying you think his breakdown is our fault? I... Yeah. Don't get me wrong, Bruce. That night was a lot of fun, but... Not worth dying for. He's dangerous. I, uh... I understand. I don't like it, but I understand. Thank you. I appreciate that. But boy, are those puppy dog eyes breaking my heart right now. So where are you going to go? We got some other business I need to take care of. What other business? <clears throat> Look at yourself, Bruce. You're in no shape to take on Harvey. Or the children of Arkham, for that matter. Of course. That's my car. See you around. Good luck with... All of this. I'm fine, okay? I just need to get to the computer. You're exhausted. And the influence of Lady Arkham's drug may still be affecting you. Harvey is turning Gotham into a police state. Oswald has stolen my company, and we need to find Vicky and the children of Arkham before they strike again. I can't just ignore it. You're in no condition to work. You absolutely must get some rest. Then help me. It feels like the whole damn cave is coming down around me. Of course I'll help. Let's start by addressing the problem at hand. Bruce, you look... Awful. He's had a very long evening. You're right. You're right. Let's just focus on getting my head clear first. Bring up everything we know about Vicky Vale's drug. 
I'm on it. If we can isolate the presence of the drug, I should be able to synthesize an antidote. Let's start with the DNA scan. Compare it to your DNA on file in the bat computer. I'll make the preparations. This is the refined sample of the drug taken from Officer Montoya after she killed Falcone. Here's my DNA before the incident. It seems that the drug attaches itself to specific proteins in the genome structure. If we can modify the drug's molecular structure, we should be able to create a counteragent. Once you've figured this out, we'll have a working antidote. We can cure others affected by the drug. No. I wish that were possible. It's based on the individual's DNA. We'd have to sample and decode the genome structure for each and every person to make them a cure. We don't have the time or resources for that. That's why we were lucky to have mine on file already. Injected directly into the vein to work. I don't imagine it'll be much fun. <laughs> Hopefully, that does the trick. It'll work. Feel better already. So, what are we going to do now? First things first, I need to know what Vicky, Lady Arkham, has been up to while I've been away. Search for all children of Arkham recent activity. <laughs> the press is reporting that Vicky Vale is missing. Yes, and obviously the police have yet to find a body. <sighs> that woman, trying to get the scoop on you, pretending to care. She betrayed you. I never trusted her. It was always something off. Your instincts are very rarely wrong, sir. She was playing me the entire time, breaking me down. She wanted me in Arkham. She wanted me to feel what my father had done to all those people. Bruce. There were bigger plans than me, Alfred. Batman stopped her at the Skyrail station, and I can't believe that she isn't finding another way to use the drugs. Well, if that's true, she may be more dangerous than ever. I know, I know. I, uh, met someone in Arkham who gave me a tip on how to find her. A tip? Do you really think you can trust someone in Arkham Asylum? No offense intended toward your recent time there, of course. Well, trustworthy or not, it's the best lead we have. He told me that if I want to know what she's planning, then I should visit her parents' house. Shouldn't be too tough to locate them. Got it. Bruce, before you head out, I've got something for you. I call it a strobe grenade. Throw it at any surface and the ensuing light show will make you almost impossible to track. Perfect. Thank you, Lucius. Thank you. Least I can do after you invited me to come work in the Batcave with you. Bruce! Yeah. If you do find Miss Vale, please be careful. Inside the Vale House. Mm -hmm. 
Alfred, the veils are dead. One body confirmed, but there is a lot of blood. Alert Gordon. Will do. I don't know how this is connected to the drugs yet. Whatever they knew about it, Vicky made sure they kept quiet. Syringe. Seems she hasn't given up her old tricks. Is this the same drug? Yes. But this is several times stronger than the dosage I received. Maybe she's escalating. This seems personal. Her eyes are gone. Stabbed out. That's disturbing. There's an injection wound on her neck. Same kind Montoya and I both received, but this one's much worse. Recent family photo. Vicky's not in it. It shows the veils with another child in front of an industrial office. There's a logo on the building. Large amounts of blood spatter across the walls. It's not steady like arterial spray. Someone was swinging wildly. Wait, there's a slight indentation where something bloody struck the wall with force. Something thrown? Nothing I can see. I found a lock of hair. Anything unique about it? It was cut at a downward angle, probably with some force based on how clean the slice is. Alfred found Mr. Vale. Alive? No. He's gone. Ten hours at least, judging by the state of his soft tissues. The belt buckle is covered in blood. Before he was hung with the belt, Mr. Vale was beaten with it. Looks like a company logo. wasn't used as a murder weapon. Then why was it lying on the floor? same drug. This confirms that Lady Arkham is the murderer. The logos match. Mr. Vale owned an oil and heating company. Looking it up now. Yes, he's got a sizable warehouse in the industrial district and a fleet of delivery trucks. And now Vicky's got it. matches the shape of the belt buckle. It must have impacted with the wall during the attack.
appears Mrs. Vale attempted to fight back with this knife, but only managed to slice through the attacker's hair. What exactly happened in that house? I think I know. After we stopped her at the rail station, Vicky needed a place to hide her supply of drugs. Her father's trucks and warehouse offered the perfect cover. To do that, she needed them out of the way, with Vicky Vale fully assuming her new identity of Lady Arkham. Seems like she didn't need the veils around to support her old one. Vicky showed up to attack her adopted parents, but only the mother was there at first. Miss Vale fought back and was able to slice off part of Vicky's hair. Vicky then subdued her with the same drug she used on me, but a much, much larger dose. Nearly lethal. She then removed the mother's eyes, indicating a deeply personal motivation. This was obviously some sort of vendetta. Sometime during this, Mr. Vale entered. Vicky attacked him with his own belt, striking with the buckle until he was unconscious and bleeding out. Finally, she dragged him to the closet and hung him with the belt. The blood loss got him way before the hanging did. Well, that's horrific. She never acted out in such a violent way before. Why would she... Alfred, I think someone's still in the house, going to look for a heat signature. If anyone else is here, I'll find them. Clear. Nothing here. There's someone here, under the stairs, alive. Okay, I'm not going to hurt you. Sir, is everything all right? It's a kid, Alfred. The boy from the photo. Is he all right? Aside from the shock and a few bruises, he seems okay. He might be able to tell me more about what happened. Uh, possibly. But if that's the road you go down, please do it with caution. It's going to be okay. You're going to be all right. I'm sorry I scared you. It's going to be okay. Y yeah? I need you to tell me if you saw or heard anything. This is important. I... I heard someone say something. Something about drugs. Fighting the police. I don't know who. I don't know who because I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything because I hid in here. Please don't send me to punishment. Calm down. See, that does help me. Thank you. Get down.
They're dead. It'll be better if you don't look. Oh. I'm sorry. They weren't always nice, but they gave me a place to live. I promise. I won't stop until I catch the person that did this. You're the kid who saved Batman. And no matter what happens, no matter where you go, that will always be true. And I will always owe you one. Batman! Oh my god. He was the only survivor. Come on. Let's get you out of here. He saved me. Jesus. Was this the children of Arkham? Again? Why would they attack a family like the Vales? Because their daughter Vicky is Lady Arkham. She killed her own parents so she could use their company warehouse to stockpile the rest of her drugs. Vicky? Vicky Vale, the reporter? And so, who is the boy then? My guess is he's another foster child living with the Vales. He says he heard something about drugs and attacking the police. Can't confirm anything, but it sounds like the children of Arkham might be plotting something with those drugs against your people. Thanks for the heads up. The warehouse is Vale Oil and Heating. You should secure it as soon as possible. I'll get on it right away. What about you? I've got something I need to look into. Lieutenant! What's going on here? Securing the crime scene, Commissioner. Not any more, you're not. I'm taking over this investigation. I can't risk you allowing Batman to contaminate our crime scene again. And so your bat stunner just didn't work? That's right. I have a bad feeling it was no accident. If not for Lucius's strobe grenade, I'm not sure what I would have done. Lucius, meet me at the back computer. There's something I want to talk to you about. Be right there. Let's get a closer look at you. No damage on the microfiber. Adhesion regulation reads normal. EMP functionality is all in the green. It should have worked. Electricity conductor, everything looks functional. This doesn't make any sense. This is strange. This microchip is emitting a low bandwidth receiving signal, but it shouldn't be. Like the ones you shut down in the GCPD. Something like that. But Lucius had his eyes on the Wayne tech that the children of Arkham breached. This is something different i'm here what's up take a look at this oh god someone's found a way to get past my security upgrades not just someone oswald cobblepot i am so sorry bruce if only i'd been at wayne enterprises maybe there was something i could have done oh what a mess that sleaze cobblepot at the heart of it all cut yourself some slack lucius there's no way you could have known I certainly don't blame you for it. Well, I still feel a little guilty. Looks to me like he's introduced some sort of bug into your network. That's how he's making my equipment malfunction? For now. But if he keeps it up, he could completely take control of your tech. My lord, that would be catastrophic. Is there anything you can do? I can try to work on your firewalls. But if I do anything too drastic, you'll know we're on to it. I'm tired of being on the defensive. Why don't we attack him instead? I'm not sure, but I can certainly see what I can do. Thanks, Lucius. Uh, uh Bruce, Lucius, you're going to want to see this. What is it? Reports of children of Arkham activity are down. But these efforts do not come cheap. 
That's why I am formally seizing the Wayne estate. So the corrupt wealth of Gotham's elite can go to the better purpose of protecting Gotham's common man. Mr. Wayne has 24 hours to evacuate his property and turn it over to the city. Or he will be removed. You, you can't let that egomaniac throw us out on the street. I have to talk to him. After what happened at the debate, Harvey probably isn't the biggest fan of Batman. On the other hand, perhaps Bruce Wayne can appeal to him on a more personal level. Harvey's behavior is unpredictable. Random. Who knows how he will react by the way. Tonight, Batman saves Bruce Wayne. Yes, about bloody time. Don't screw this up, Harvey. It was the right thing to do. Yeah, of course. Of course it was the right thing to do. I just can't... I just can't second-guess myself. Dangerous place to stand. Be so easy to slip and fall. Oh, Batman. What a surprise to see you on my roof. You've gone too far. Leave Wayne alone. Wayne? What, is this about the whole seizing his assets thing? What are you gonna do? You gonna break my legs? <laughs> or maybe you're just gonna make threats. Words out that you don't get violent unless you have to. If it comes to that. You think that even comes close to what you let happen to my face? Ah, uh, funny. Would have thought that this Wayne situation would be a little... beneath you, Batman. After everything Bruce has done, why should I do anything for him? Wayne was your friend. He put his faith in you, supported your campaign. He betrayed me! He lied to my face while sneaking around behind my back! Now Wayne is just another curveball this stupid city threw my way. Hill and his goons, the Waynes, the children of Arkham. I'm finally starting to understand, to see just how sick Gotham really is. To save Gotham, I need to do some bad before it gets better. Ready to go. Do it. What did you do? Our Lady Arkham's drugs destroyed. Man, we lost a bunch of our own guys! The apartment next door! Jesus Christ! That blast was way bigger than you said! We must have taken out a whole city block with it! We stopped the children of Arkham. That's all that matters. That's what a leader does. I feel like I should thank you. Seeing as you did give Gordon that tip. I don't care what your end goal was. Even one innocent life is too high a cost. Then you're thinking too small. I doubt the police would see it that way. The police? Oh, the smart ones already answer to me. Otherwise, well, I think Gordon is already a perfect example of what happens to the not-so-smart ones. Bet he wishes he had just handed over the location of the drug stockpile when I asked. <laughs> what did you say about Gordon? <laughs> Where is he? Getting what's coming to him. You're so full of big scary talk. Tell me where he is. Now! <laughs> You're too late, Batman. By now he's just another corpse in Crime Alley. <laughs> Back off of Wayne, huh? Let's take a ride, gentlemen. What the hell is this? Mayor Dent says you're getting in the way of protecting the city. Dent's got you brainwashed. 
No, he's trying to help. The children of Arkham are out of control, and no one, no one is doing... Batman! What a mess. Thank you, Batman. Save the thanks, and explain to me why I just watched half a city block go up in flames. Dent took out the warehouse with the drugs. The location that I gave to you. Are you accusing me of something, Batman? Just say it. Come on. Let's hear it. I only told you. Dent knows. So someone you talked to told him. You know we're on the same team here. So stop leaning on me and let's figure out what happened. Tell me what you know. By the time I got back to the precinct, Dent already had the information. He strong-armed it out of Commissioner Grogan. I didn't even have time to scratch my ass before I got hauled out here. Dent's position makes him dangerous. He's persuasive and he has power. Dent thinks that what he's doing is best for Gotham. Execution and martial law. I know. I always considered him my friend. But he's past saving. There's no world in which he manages to set this right. There's no hope for a rabid dog. We need to lock him up and throw away the key. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is what it's come to. We have a lot of work to do. Everything is such a goddamn mess. But we gotta start somewhere. The real threat on the streets is still the children of Arkham. They are what Dent is reacting to. And standing in the way of dealing with them, too. The precinct trusts you. The commissioner trusts you. Use that. Direct their focus. <sighs> yeah. Gotta handle this first, though. We will get through this, Jim. I'm glad we're on the same side. What's the situation? I, I figured out how he's causing the feedback loop. He's somehow connected a, a black box computer to your encrypted network. God, it's like a digital battering ram. If he keeps this up, he could smash through the Batcave firewalls at any minute. He'd have access to the Bat computer. That's not the worst of it, I'm afraid. Alfred? Mr. Dent is pulling up to the manor as we speak, and he's not alone. Already? <laughs> Sir, are you all right? Penguin's hacking assaults are getting worse. At this rate, he'll have my tech compromised by the end of the night. Only place he could be hacking me from is Wayne Enterprises. Well, I don't envy your position. Even Batman can't be in two places at once. I'm going home. Understood. See you soon. One step further. Now, oh, come on, Al. Put the rifle down. I'm not gonna hurt you. Somehow, I don't believe you. Back away, please, all of you. Jesus, Al, it's me, Harvey. No, not the Harvey I know. The Harvey I know would never have massacred innocent civilians. He isn't a murderer. General senses proof to kill the enemy. Call it murder. Penguin is still hacking my tech. Guess I'll be doing this the old fashioned way. So, how does this end? 
I want to destroy this house, and you want to stop me. This ends after I hurt you. Look at me, Batman. You think I'm scared of a little pain? Now get out of here before I have you booked for obstruction of justice. You stand in my way. You stand in the way of the law. <laughs> More than this, Harvey. I know. You know what those are? Explosive slugs! <laughs> Bet you don't have any of those in that little belt of yours! Just try and hide, Batman. Let's see how that works out for you. No! The bat's mine. This old man needs to die. Your head or your heart? What's that sound? What the? Take care of all this. Just need to figure out what to do with him. All the innocent lives he's responsible for, he should be locked up in Blackgate Prison. But that broken mind of his will probably only get worse in there. Dan is too dangerous and too damaged to be kept in some holding cell at Blackgate. You have to get him into Arkham. They might actually be able to help him in there. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I'll see what I can do. In the meantime, you stay safe out there, all right? You too, Jim.
Lucius, Al, what's going on? Bruce, the computer. I've been doing everything I can, but I can't keep him out. It's Penguin. We need to cut the hard line now. Bruce, all of your bat tech is linked to this computer. If you take it offline, it will all be inoperable. If Penguin hacks in, he'll have control of all of it. I have to shut it down. Alright guys, I hope y'all enjoyed that, and it uh, looks like 48% along with me decided to make a deal with the devil, but I'm okay with that, it makes it very interesting. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the next one. Oh damn, I went along with it, you know, might as well, had to get us out of there, you know, 63%, not bad, not bad. Uh, well, uh, people are punks, they just sat there and gave his ass money, nah, fuck that, that guy, he, he got to earn it. Uh, let's see. Uh, Bruce, of course, you better send him as Batman. Shit, man, fuck, fuck Harvey Dent. He's, I should have sent him to jail, though. I should have sent him to jail. Um, Harvey or Oswald. Ah, uh, people are so protective of their materials. You can't get back Lucius or, or, or yeah, Alfred, man. Fuck that. I'd rather have them. Uh, da, 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 da. damn, they didn't say, uh, oh well. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that, uh, episode. Now we just gotta wait another month and hopefully, uh, we'll see more. I'll see y'all later. Deuces. He's been with us for quite some time. I'm sure he'd be willing to show you around. Right, John? Oh, yeah. I'll show him the whole mind. <laughs> I think it would be best if you stayed by his side. But there's not enough black tiles, you hear me? There's too many white tiles! <laughs> session was so enlightening. That's good to hear. Your next evaluation is in a few weeks. I'm glad you're starting to understand yourself. Oh, <laughs> every day, Doctor. Every day. I can't taste anything! I want to taste!